Healthy lifestyle hack number four, get that good H2O. Our water is being poisoned. Who is looking out for us? Welcome to Chrysalis Chats. My name is Tanya, and this is where we discuss topics that are important to our collective transformation as I see them. Okay, so what is up with the water thing? What am I talking about? Well, we have a bunch of stuff. We have a huge problem going into our water, okay? There's prescriptions. Everybody and their mom's taking all these pills. We're one of the most, like, heavily prescribed pill countries out there, okay? We have all these medications going into our bodies, and then they're, like, going out of our bodies through our urine into our water system. And then when people are done with their pills, sometimes they'll put them down the toilet or whatever, which, you know, might make sense in some level, but it really doesn't. We consider that it's, like, poisoning the water, okay? So that's a problem. But maybe even more prolific and important than that, we have a bunch of herbicides and pesticides like glyphosate going into our water. So an example, glyphosate, that's something that's in Roundup, which is a product used in conjunction with a lot of GMOs. You can go back to last week's video series. I talked all about GMOs in that series, okay? But glyphosate is a carcinogen, which means that it causes cancer. It causes cancer and it's going into our water supply, okay? That's all you need to know about that topic is that glyphosate is a proven carcinogenic and is going into our water through the industrialized farming system and the adoption of GMOs, okay? Messed up. The third problem is fluoride. We're literally having fluoride pumped into our water because it's healthy for our teeth. Okay, it's also proven as a neurotoxin, aka something that's totally toxic to your brain and your whole system of nerves and electronic impulses, okay? So these are some problems. And who is looking out for us? Who is looking out for us? That's really like the question to ask because we're all water, right? Like upwards of 70% of our body is water. So who is looking out for us and what can we do about this, okay? Well, the first thing you can do is go to the Food and Water Watch, uh, foodandwaterwatch.org. I'll try to link to it in the description. They're a really good, like, watchdog group, and they're always looking out for the different issues, social justice issues, environmental justice issues related to food and water, okay? Their info is up to date. It's on point. It's well-sourced. Da, da, da. So do your research, check it out, read what they got going on, they got some videos, all that stuff, and just learn, just learn, learn the knowledge. The second major thing that you can do is drink good water, okay? Drink distilled water. If you're talking about like the prime thing that you can do, get an at-home distiller where you can take water from the sink and turn it into distilled water at home without having plastic involved, or Get your water, you know, in plastic jugs, which again, not the best thing because there's chemical leaching. Yeah, it's true, okay? But if you ask me personally, my belief is that it's better to drink distilled water out of a plastic container than it is to drink the water that's coming out of the tap. And that's a little sad when you think about it. But fact of the matter is we're focusing on what you can do, and that is one thing that you can do. Oh, by the way, Food and Water Watch, you can, like, sign petitions and get more involved if you want to, like, take an activist approach. But I'm more like, what are you doing on your everyday level for you right now? Um, we should all advocate, absolutely. But for you, you know, what can you do right now? Drink good water. Drink distilled water. Distillation is a really good way to get out a lot of the toxins, okay? Including fluoride, including glyphosate, including residual prescriptions, okay? The other thing you can do, you can share the information. You can tell more people about this because the more people who understand this issue and can talk intelligently about this issue, the more likely it is that we're going to change this whole system that is flawed sooner rather than later, okay? So spread the knowledge. It's not something to feel beat up and defeated about. It's something to feel revved up about and power over because you have the power over what you put in your body and you can tell other people about that and help them understand what we can each do, okay? So, you know, definitely just spread the knowledge on that. The next thing you can do and this is kind of like my final statement on what you can do <laughs> related to get that good H2O, this number four video for the Healthy Lifestyle series, is channel your inner water goddess, okay? Everybody, I don't care if you're male, if you're female, if you're like androgynous, if you're trans, whatever you identify as, cool, welcome to Chrysalis Chats, okay? But channel your inner water goddess. Go vibe with the lake, the river, the ocean, wherever you are, 
the shower, I don't know, a pond, what do you have, a water feature in a park, okay, whatever you have, go there, vibe with the water, water is purifying, to get on some like really ancient knowledge for a second, water medicine is all about cleansing, it's all about intuition, it's all about healing, okay, and transformation, the topic, if there is a one topic to this channel, transformation, water, okay, so pursue that, embrace that vibe with it have a bath do whatever feels good with water because it is so healing okay it's so healing this has been chrysalis chats i hope you enjoyed this video if you would like to see more of these hit that like button show me that you like it subscribe to this channel share it with your friends who you think would appreciate the vibe of these videos and just let people know that this is happening and let's grow this together okay I really appreciate you. I want to thank you for being part of the Collective Awakening. You are awesome. We need you. And you are definitely a part of what's changing this world. Okay? So kudos to you. Thank you for being a beautiful butterfly in transformation. And have a great day.